And finally tonight here, we all remember the great American eclipse that was almost one year ago now. And tonight, a spectacular event seen around the world, the longest total lunar eclipse of the century. ABC's Matt Gutman tonight. Matt, you and I were on the air almost a year ago for that great American eclipse. That was really something, but you're taking in quite a sight in Hong Kong. Yeah, that was a treat, but this has been an hour and 40 minutes long of a celestial, spectacular treat. And these diehards behind me have been here for every single minute of it. You know, it's called the blood moon because it happens when the sun, the earth, and the moon perfectly align. And the rays of the sun curve around the earth, and it's only the red rays that go through the atmosphere and actually hit the moon. And that's what we've been seeing in these spectacular images from across the globe in Berlin, at the Colosseum in Rome. It has been a beautiful sight to behold. Unfortunately, back home in the U.S., we did not get to see the full glory of this eclipse. But rest assured, January 21st, 2019, just a few months away, we'll get our next shot at a lunar eclipse. David. Putting it on the calendar, Matt Gutman from Hong Kong tonight. Matt, thank you. And thank you for watching here on a Friday night. I'm David Muir. I'll see you later tonight for 2020 and right back here on Monday. Good night. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.